I've got my composition caster converted for doing strip casting. Uh, heat's off right now, so I can touch this stuff. I got the special pump for doing strip casting. Its nozzle is in a different location. I got that from Rich Hopkins. And it's an American pump, and I got an English caster, so I had to replace these two arms that operate the pump. And I got those from Ed Rayer at Swamp Press, so thanks to Ed as well. So that lets me use the American pump on an English-made caster. And I have this, which is the adjustable stop for setting the stroke length. And this lever from just some random parts that Don Black had. Everything else I had to make. So I had to make uh, this bar here, which connects the mold blade to the end of this lever. I had to make this mounting plate and clamp and sort of a cradle. And I had to make my own spring box. I think this one's kind of overkill, though. I had to make this lever and this fulcrum for it. And this link that connects up to the, uh, to the type carrier cam arm. So the whole thing goes through the motions nicely. Oh yes, I had to make my own nozzle, too. There's a special nozzle for use on this pump. So the thing goes through the motions, but I'm not getting great strip material. You can see here. It's not really filling the mold properly, and it's not really fusing properly either. So if I take a, if I try and take a piece here and just bend it, it just snaps right off. So it's not really melting from one section to the next very well. So I'm not quite sure what I have to do to get that fixed. This was running uh, actually with no cooling water in the mold, so the mold should have been good and hot, and you would have thought that that would let it fuse well. But there's a few things I have to review. I wonder if I'm not quite getting good enough contact between the nozzle and the mold, for instance. I haven't done any special adjustment of the mold or the nozzle height. And another problem I'm running into is that on the mold, right here and here, there's some stuff for there's sort of a gate that gets cast on the side of the strip material. And there's cutters here to knock them off. But I'm finding they tend to jam for some reason. Now this, this arm here was pivoted out more this way and it looks like the sort of thing is supposed to just push the push the jet down but it just added to the clogging effect. That would mean the uh, the caster wouldn't feed, or the, mold, the mold blade wouldn't feed the metal out of the mold so it would stop casting. So there's some tuning to be done.